Hey guys, last video I asked for 25 likes and y'all absolutely smashed that shit. Got me double that, got me 50 likes. So, this video, let's get 50 likes again. Y'all did it once, y'all could do it again, I believe. And I also want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to link the playlist below and I'm going to link it at the end screen. But honestly, my Man 18 playlist has been blowing up. I've gotten a thousand views on two of the videos. Um, you know, I've gotten like 20 to 30 subscribers in the past two days. I want to thank everyone who's commented below. I've been interacting with all y'all. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's great. Thank you very much to everyone. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button so you make sure you never miss a video of mine. Thank you very much for watching. Hope y'all enjoy. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Tay the God. This video is going to be a bit long, so whether or not you want to watch it, you know, that's whatever. There's going to be a lot of information, but in the end, all the puzzle pieces will be coming together. So just sit back and enjoy. This video is not clickbait. It may sound like a stretch, but I promise you it's very realistic. It's all going to come together in the end. So the story starts, what, 13, 14 years ago with NFL 2K5. Now, you know, I won't talk about this for too long, but whether you love it or hate it, it's a great game. It was a great football game. Personally, it's not even one of my favorite sports games. One of my favorite video games ever. I absolutely loved it back in the day. I still absolutely love it. It's adored by the community. Um, it was very ahead of its time. So they had this little funny... <laughs> Honestly, if you play it now, it's like it's so ghetto. But back in the day, it was mind-blowing. They had a game mode where you just play a quick pickup game, like a play now. But it was in first person, like in the helmet cam. I remember being Brian Dawkins and I run down and get a hit and it was just it was so cool you know you could switch on the fly you know the quarterback it was it was all from the helmet it was really sick this mode was uh, you know very far ahead of its time and as you know now we got vr so ea games madden and fifa they both have the marketing rights given exclusively to microsoft that's why you know on madden trailers you see buy xbox now or better with xbox blah blah you never hear nothing about playstation you know on fifa the ultimate team legends are only on xbox not on playstation but while streaming last year, the creative director for Madden, Rex Dixon, this was, I remember watching this. I tried to get the VOD, but it wasn't there. He doesn't have any of his old videos saved. Never mind, your boy Tay the God always got to come clutch. I went back in my old Reddit submission history and actually found the Twitch clip. So here it is. Uh, I'm not going to answer too much in regards to VR. Um, I have an Oculus Rift. I'm going to be a Sony uh, PSVR owner. I play a lot of VR games, and I'll leave it at that. The creative director of Madden is very interested in VR. Let's just stop right there. Shit, I gotta re-record this now since I found that clip, but uh, this is off the top. As you see, he says the creative director of Madden is very interested in VR, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Alright, first off, you gotta remember, this is before the game came out, and he had like 1,500 dudes in his, in his uh, stream. And the comments were flying. So for him to see VR on that screen, just those two letters, something must have clicked for him. You know, he must have caught that and instantly said, oh, VR? Yeah, um, I can't say anything about VR and Madden, but I love VR, blah, blah, blah. Some of you might be like, oh, he was just saying how he likes VR, blah, blah, blah. But for him to say at the end, the, cre uh, the creative director of Madden is very interested in VR and I'm going to leave it at that. That's kind of hinting towards, that's teasing something, you know what I mean? If he really, if there was really nothing, he wouldn't have said that. But to leave it off like that, he's that's definitely hinting towards a possible future project in VR for Matt. This may transition weird into the next uh, bit of me talking because I'm re-recording this after because I just found the clip while I was editing this. But uh, yeah, here we go. Then, you know, the more I thought about it, I'm like, yeah, VR is a big thing. It's VR is going to be the future of gaming and Madden being one of the front runners of video games. People might not think of it that way, but it is. Madden, 2K, FIFA, they're top selling video games every year because sports game, you know what I mean? But anyways, this had a lot of people thinking. All right, next up, as you know, <laughs> it's a bit of a running joke in the gaming community, but Xbox has absolutely no games on their console right now. It's it's poor. I mean, look at the PS4. So far this year alone, we've gotten Nier Automata, Horizon Zero Dawn, Persona 5, all being exclusive games and all being Game of the Year contenders. It's it's crazy. We got God of War coming. We got Spider-Man coming. Last of Us 2 coming. So much stuff. I'm not trying to disrespect y'all Xbox players, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm not a console fanboy or anything. I'm not going to say fuck Xbox, but I'm just saying PlayStation is hot right now. So with the big Xbox One Scorpio reveal coming next month at E3, 
everyone is wondering you know what the hell are they going to be showing because um one of the most anticipated exclusives scale bound that was recently canceled cuphead they're not probably going to be showing much of that crackdown 3 they might be showing some of that but you know cuphead and crackdown aren't going to be ready until 2018 that has been confirmed we may see some gameplay but i don't know about all that so really that just leaves forza and and i said obviously i was talking to my friends about this the other day i said obviously forza isn't going to be the only game shown uh for the xbox one scorpio reveal and i thought wait a second you know microsoft has madden fifa and madden the new madden trailer actually had a 4k version so that leads me to believe that there is going to be 4k support in the new madden much like fifa and in 2k i definitely think that madden is going to be shown on the xbox one scorpio reveal as well as fifa but madden i feel like would be the perfect reveal because it's a new engine um there's gonna be a lot of stuff that they can show off the power of one uh the constant 60 fps because madden's fps problems are ridiculous the menu sometimes drops to like 2 fps it's really bad to be honest they can show off the 4k they can show off graphics they can show off facial animations they can show off a lot with madden to be honest but you know, this is where you're saying, okay, so they show some Madden gameplay in the Xbox One Scorpio sizzle reel. What does this have to do with VR? Why, do, you know, why is the title talking about first person is back? All right, this is this is this is where just you know be patient. We're getting to that. All right. So the PS4 Pro was dropped, you know, late last year, and it was to help further the capabilities of the PSVR. Microsoft having to rival the competition is releasing the Xbox One Scorpio, a stronger console than the Pro available of outputting true 4k and hdr and high-end virtual reality if you have not heard in march microsoft confirmed a brand new vr headset developed by acer coming to xbox and hold up i actually have it right here i'll read it an xbox one vr headset is seemingly a permanent fixture on the web rumor mill but now microsoft has confirmed that the mixed reality gaming is coming to the games platform Mixed reality means it's going to be capable of VR and AR. AR is augmented reality, VR is virtual reality. Less than half the price of the PSVR, it's supposed to be marginally better, displaying 1440p in both eyes with a 90Hz refresh rate. I mean, that sounds a little too good to be true, because compared to the PSVR, that's... I mean, PSVR, only some games reach 1080p in both eyes, and it only has a 60Hz refresh rate, so... I mean, hey, if that's what the developers say, then that's what they say. You know, I'm not going to say they're lying or nothing. I'm just saying that's kind of, that's amazing if that's true. So this is where, you know, this is where you put all the pieces together. I mean, Microsoft has the marketing rights for Madden. They have a new console coming, which one of the main games they're going to be able to show off for it is Madden because they don't have much to show off other than that. They have a new VR headset, which they're going to be pushing. And Madden still has a lot of unannounced features and game modes, and the creative director himself said he was very interested in VR possibilities. It all links up for me. I mean, personally, I don't think it'll happen this year, uh, but definitely in the years to come, VR is going to be 100% a thing. I don't want to say like 100% VR is going to come to Madden 7 or Madden 18, but I also don't want to say like, oh, this could be, you know, just 10% chance, like very speculative. No, like I think there's a good enough chance for me to be making this video because honestly i feel like the pieces are there and if it does come this year it's not going to be like you know anything special it's going to be much like 2k5 it's just going to be a, a play now game mode with a vr option uh you know you're going to be able to play as anyone on the field in first person the new xbox headset or the new sorry the new xbox vr headset actually has built-in in-game audio or whatever i guess there's gonna be headphones on the headset or something i don't know so it would be really crazy you know i could see being like a quarterback and you know you'd be turning your head you got the uh the coach talking in the headset it'd be really cool but anyways man that's that you know whether or not you believe it whether or not you think uh, this is just a dumbass video the pieces are there the pieces are there you can't lie i think that it'd be absolutely crazy if they brought vr to madden um with the new frostbite engine it would be something it'd be something silly that'd be crazy to see especially if it was four can you imagine 1440p in both eyes 90 hertz refresh rate you know frostbite 3 engine god that that's real life you don't ever have to play real football again you're in the nfl right there you're in the nfl you are tom brady i'm gonna be putting on my headset i'll be putting on shoulder pads i'm gonna put on some gloves i'm gonna be running routes i'm put on cleats too i'm <laughs> my mom be cussing me in that <laughs> Anyways, man, if y'all like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. 
uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think of this of this you know VR thing if you believe it or if you don't or if you would like to see VR or if you won't god damn I'm a rapper anyways man thanks for watching the video it's your boy Tay the God man till next time I'm out thank y'all for watching I love you so much peace